Hey everyone, welcome to my March Beauty Obsessions video and I'm going to share my favorite products that I used over and over in the month of March. I missed out on February so I included some products from February too. So the first thing is lips and I'm going to talk about the combo I'm wearing right now that I really love. It's MAC lipstick in peach stock from the Liberty of London collection with the special packaging. I really like this one, um, obviously. <laughs> it's a peachy nude color and any variation on a nude, I am all about it. So here it is on my hand and I'm wearing that with 2N lip gloss over it and they just make a great combo because they're you know, almost the same a little bit, so. Um, I swatched the lip gloss next to it. I would say that 2N maybe has, I mean, they look almost identical, really. And I just love the pairing because I love a colored lip, but I love a nude lip too, so I'm wearing that now. I also got this lip gloss in True Babe, and it was from the Spring Color Forecast Collection. It's just a really shocking, vibrant pink with no glitter and no shimmer in it. And it goes on sheer, so it gives your lip a really nice pink tint. And I like to wear it over Show Orchid lipstick, which is, you know, it looks just like this. And I also used it with this Makeup Forever Waterproof Lip Liner in 16C which goes really great with Show Orchid and this lip gloss. And I just line my lips and fill them in with this. And then I put the lip gloss over it. And even if the lip gloss wears off, I still have the lip liner. So you'll have bright pink lips all day with a waterproof lip pencil. Next, cheeks. I did a review on the MAC 130 brush and I've been using it for I guess a couple of weeks now um, I'm still loving it it's such a great brush for cream blush for me I really love it and I've just been using it almost every day anytime I'm wearing cream blush I'm using this and it just really helps a lot and while I'm on the topic of cream blush I wanted to share my favorite cream blushes that I have you know the ones that I reach for the most and this one is called Camellia by Stila. And it's their, you know, convertible colors. Love this color. It's a nice brown, bronzy color. So it really warms my skin up because I am really pale, especially in the winter. So I really reach for that color a lot. Another color is a MAC Cream Blend Blush in Lady Blush. I use it all the time. And this is a really peachy pink, very, very pink, and it's great for every day. I wear it to work a lot. Then I got this one recently, and I really like this one because it's not as peachy. It's more of a rosy color, and it's called Brit Wit. And I'll just show you the difference. The colors are really different. This is more of a purpley rose color and this is a peachier pink so um, this one I also like to wear to work so now I switch off it's really cool next Lush I don't know if I spoke to you guys about this product but I really like their massage bars amazing for my dry skin I have had some serious issues with my skin this winter I've just never felt like so horrible like so dry ever and this has really helped me out a lot um, after i get out of the shower i use this all over and my skin just feels amazing it's really really moisturizing um, if you have oily skin i wouldn't use it because it's really it's really greasy but um since my skin is really dry it's good for me and my skin just feels like butter like I'm in heaven when I use this. And this one is called Each Peach, and it really doesn't smell like peaches to me. I don't eat peaches, but 
I just think this smells like oranges to me. One, strawberry fields. Strawberry fields forever. And it smells a little bit like strawberry, but it's not strong at all. It's really sweet. And I got that one because I use this perfume, the YSL Parisian. I, I don't know, to me it has a little bit of a strawberry note to it. And I just thought that uh, if I use that massage bar and when I'm using the perfume, the scents will complement each other and not compete. And I'll smell like 20 different things and not what I want to smell like. So I got that one. And then the one that I like the most out of all of them, and you're going to laugh when you see what's left. <laughs> this is what is left. This was Heavenly, and this is The Remains. I really liked it. And I wanted to tell you guys that I'm in the April 2010 issue of Seventeen, so if you want to check it out, please do. I am on page 70. And it's a two-page ad. It was a collaboration between Seventeen Magazine and CoverGirl. And I did a tutorial using some new CoverGirl products. And you can find the video at facebook.com slash 17actionista. I'll post the link in the sidebar if you want to check it out. And if you go on the page, just um, keep clicking, you know, like see more at the end of the page. Um, because they've done like a lot of posts after that so if you want to check it out and you don't see it just keep pressing until you see it a couple times and I was super excited to do it I went on the set of their 17 fashion vans shoot at a bowling alley in New York and um, you know I sat in with the makeup artist doing the makeup for the girls in the shoot and they asked each girl what look would you do if you were going on a date and each girl said that they would do a smoky eye. So I used that as my inspiration and I did a look around that. So check it out if you want to see it. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already if you'd like to know when I post my latest videos. I'm on Twitter, so you can follow me at twitter.com slash drbrooklyn730. And I have a blog where I post swatches of, you know, like hauls or just random things at musingsofcitygirl.com. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!